Yo, you two, welcome to my crib. Come on in. What's up guys? So I did it. Um, I ended up buying a van so I can go ahead and start trying to uh, work on building out this van and living the van life. And my ultimate goal, of course, is to just travel around the country and do all kinds of cool things and see a bunch of cool things. But I figured for now, I'll show you around the van and kind of show you um, what I plan on doing to it, hopefully, um, over the next few months before I hit the road. So as you can see, I got the big screen right there, <laughs> which is going to come out anyway. But um, yeah, I love all the uh, like original wood paneling that's in this van. I'm going to keep all that stuff um, in. I really like that, and I think that it makes it pretty unique. But this is a 1998 Ford Econoline with 78,284 original miles. If you guys have been keeping up with me for a while, you know that the truck that I have, it's a Ford Ranger. Um, it's a 2002, but everything I have on that is manual. This van has power locks, power windows. It has a radio that hasn't been stolen yet, which is pretty cool. It came with the club. I hope I have that thing on there right, but hopefully that'll prevent somebody from trying to steal the van in general. It's got these super cool sliding windows. It has some built-in storage, so there are a couple spots. I think there's a DVD player up here, which I'm going to get rid of. And then, sorry, that was kind of fast, but it's got the reverse climate, dual climate, and then back here, there's even more storage. So something that is super cool that I'm going to end up keeping actually is this couch back here folds down into a bed. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna end up actually keeping this as my bed. I'm just gonna throw like a, a mat or something but here. this bed is plenty big enough for me to curl up on and go to sleep at night both of these front seats or these two seats in the back i believe are going to come out i'm even thinking about taking that seat out and doing like a, a little power station right there because i do intend to put solar on the roof that way i have power two 100 watt solar panels and some batteries is what i was looking at doing over here on this side, once this seat is out, you can see the bed is right there. And, and I'm going to put like cabinets over here that'll store some things. And right behind the seat, I'm going to do a couple of uh, water storage options. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with like, uh, you know, trying to put a sink in here or not. Or if I'm just going to keep like, you know, five gallon things of water that I can use and tap into as I need them. I wanna to try to keep as much of the roof lining and everything intact because this van is actually very, very clean, especially for the year. So all of that, I'm gonna to try to keep intact as much as I can because I believe that it acts as insulation as well, especially in the colder months. I think that that's gonna be pretty nice. The other thing I'm gonna to try to do is where the TV's at now, I'm gonna remove that and use it as storage behind there. But I'd like to put like a, a flip down uh, TV mount and I'd like to put a TV in here. Not very big, obviously, the space isn't super huge. Um, but I'd like to put a flip down TV and then that way I can have like my Xbox and stuff like that and then just use something like maybe Starlink's internet, although that's a little expensive. But if I can get something like um, uh, AT&T or Verizon, they have just a 5G router that you can plug in. That way I'll be connected while I'm on the road. So for it being a 98, I mean, even under the engine bay, I felt like everything was super clean everything checks out and this is a good strong motor. So this is actually one of the better motors that Ford put in these things. It's the 5.3, I believe. This is the backside. You can see I already took a fishing, but I plan on putting like a uh, hot water heater right here. So my boss actually showed me one that's really cool and I believe I can mount it right there. So that way I can just drop a hose into a bucket and have a hot shower if I need to while I'm on For the For the most part, however, I do believe that I'll be showering at gyms or other things like that when I actually get going. I have a gym membership. You can shower at truck stops, things like that. 
the hot water heater is really only for like emergency situations or if I'm camping for several days at a time. Um, but something that I thought was really cool is, is this van actually has, I don't know if you guys can see it, but power seats, which is crazy for a 98. It's kind of what it looks like riding from the captain's chair here. Let me start this bad boy up for you guys. Yeah, no problems. So yeah, needless to say, I am really, really stoked on the prospect of being able to build out this van and hit the road and just make a whole bunch of videos from the road. Um, my YouTube is not quite there yet. So if you haven't seen me before, hit the subscribe button. That's pretty cool. If you have seen me before, hit the like button, throw a comment, whatever you guys can do to help get me supported and started on this journey. I am, however, probably several months away from just even building the van, from being able to take it to where I'm like, okay, this is just a van or it's like livable. You know what I mean? Because I do plan on living out of it for a few years, drive around the country, see everything. I mean, there's so many national parks. There's so many places to see. Um, I really can't wait. And I, I hope that I can make it happen and that this isn't just a pipe dream that's going to fail. Um, so I'm really excited about that prospect because it's just, it's something that I've wanted to do for such a long time and having this now and, you know, sitting in here, looking around and, and really thinking like, this is something that I can do. Like I'm totally capable of doing this. This channel is capable of getting me to the point that I'm monetized and I'm making money and I'm living my life on the road because I have such great subscribers. I have so many people already that support me. They're rooting for me. They cheer for me. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. I, I can thank you a million times and I probably will thank you a million more, but it's amazing to have the community that I have here on YouTube. And I can't wait to build that out and grow it even more. Um, I'll continue putting out, you know, my usual like camping videos. I'm going to be taking the truck camper while I'm building this out, um, you know, and, and going out with that. Um, but once I hit the road in this, I, I won't have the truck with me. So those videos may stop, but it'll transition to like full-time van life, full-time van living at that point. Um, and there's so much more to see. You know, so um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys, though. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for subscribing. Um, and until next time, I'll give a van update the next time that I work on it. I think I'm going to start with the solar on the roof. So um, I'll show that process. I mean, this is all going to be DIY. I have zero clue, zero clue what I'm doing. Everything that I'm learning is going to be either from YouTube or I'm going to be having help or somebody who knows more than me to put everything together. Um, but I'll document the journey with the van and everything like that and building it out. Um, and until next time, guys, peace.